Well, uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to you, uh, those of us that are joining us online. Um, let us just take a moment's quiet. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Lord of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, Rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Um, we're now going to sing our worship song, uh, and we're going to sing to the King of Kings, singing Majesty and Crown Him with Many Crowns. Uh, please stand.
Let us rejoice in God's unfailing love for us today. As we hear the words of Psalm 90. Satisfy us each morning with your unfailing love, so we may sing for joy to the ends of our lives. Let us, your servants, see you work again. 
Let our children see your glory. And may the Lord our God show us his approval and make our efforts successful. Yes, make our efforts successful. Well, uh, this weekend was no ordinary weekend. Um, quite a momentous occasion, I'd say. We witnessed a king being crowned. And there were lots of highlights um, as I was watching it over the weekend. Um, I don't know if you watched the concert Sunday evening, um, but oh my word, incredible. Just really, I was really emotional um, watching some of that. Um, the community choir, a 300 strong choir um, was just so moving. Um, and actually my uh, daughter, Lydia, she, she just said, she said, do you think this is a little bit of a glimpse of what heaven um, could, could be like? As she saw that sort of everybody getting behind them and the, the singing that they were doing. And yet heaven is going to be so much better. Um, but as we reflect on the events of the weekend, um, Rev Dave mentioned on Sunday um, during his sermon um, that the bit that stood out was the 14-year-old boy who greeted um, King Charles, uh, where Charles proceeded to say that he was that he was here to serve and to not be served. And as it was pointed out, um, that's following the example of our Lord and Saviour, the King of Kings. Jesus Christ is his example. Um, in the Bible, um, the book of Proverbs introduces itself as a handbook of royal wisdom um, a king's practical life instruction to his son. Um, so on Saturday, we witnessed the coronation of King Charles in London. So it seems particularly sort of appropriate to reflect on some of this wisdom. Um, but it's not just for kings. But it's for anyone. Especially those that have privilege and responsibility of leading others. In Proverbs 3, verses 1 to 6, it says, My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For the length of days and years of life and peace they will add to you. Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you, Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. So you will find favour and good success in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will make straight your path. Now, the leadership qualities that perhaps is being talked about in here, the first ones that are said, let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. We might translate them as um, kindness and fidelity or love and loyalty. And these are also mentioned through the book of Psalms so many times. But doesn't it just echo of the commandments that Jesus gave us? Love the Lord your God and love your neighbour as yourself. So whether as a parent, a teacher, a manager, politician or whatever roles we find ourselves in, do we first of all reflect the image of God in unwavering love 
and loyalty. Do we do that? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. What does that look like? What does it mean for us? Earlier um, in the verse, it says, let your heart keep my commandments. Talking about binding them around your neck and imprinting them on your heart. How do we do that? What does it look like? Now, Rev Dave is um, doing something that's quite incredible, reading the Bible all the way through in a year, but the incredible bit is he's doing it live. <laughs> but he's, he was perhaps a little bit um, taken aback by how many other people were joining him. Now, my nan has just absolutely loved sort of joining in each day, listening to God's word. And actually, she's encouraged me to listen as, as well. And when we hear God's word, when we read God's word, it's imprinted on us. He does that when we're faithful and do things, and it's not always easy. Now, you can listen to, you can join in, it's not the whole Bible in one sitting. You'll be glad to know. Three or four chapters each time. But actually, that's being faithful. Reading God's word. Hearing it. Praying. Being here this morning. When we spend time with God, he, he speaks to us. And I know, I'm not always good at that. This morning I was praying to him and I just said, Lord, why do I leave it and not come to you? Just all the time. He wants all of us. Lord, we want to trust you with all our heart. Not arrogantly think that we can make it on our own. I ask that the Lord shine his light on every crevice of our hearts and minds. I ask that he helps us yield all our ways to him. I ask that we may walk straight paths and not stumble along the way. But when we do, as we're only human, I, I just pray that we know, each of us knows that he is with us there every step. As we take this time of morning prayer into the day, um, we can think about um, 2 Timothy 3 verse 15. You have been acquainted with the sacred writings which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. When we're acquainted with his word, it will make us much wiser.
this week, um, as we go into this week at SATS for our primary children um, in year six, and as a church, we, we want to be praying for those children um, who are taking exams, who are getting nervous, who perhaps don't know that God is with them every step of the way. We'll be thinking about those children who are coming up to the GCSEs from next week. And we think particularly of all those children this morning. The collect for um, today uh, from the Church of England, um, I'll read now. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that, by, as by your grace going before us, you put our minds, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help we may bring them to good effort. Through Christ Jesus, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Um, and if you'd like to join in with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning and those of us joining us online. Um, Friday morning, there will be um, morning prayer here in church at nine o'clock. Um, and on Sunday, we have our Holy Communion service at 9 a.m., followed by the service for all ages at 10.15-ish. We've got the ish. Um, it will also be uh, the evening service at six o'clock on Sunday. Um, but on Thursday, um, it's the diocesan day of prayer. Um, and we will be having events happening here in church um, for the children. But between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m., church will be open for everyone who would like to come and pray, whether that's for the children to bring your own prayers. But we, we want to come together on that day um, to pray. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in his eternal... Uh, I'll try that again. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us now and always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Thank you, everyone.